one. Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to the director's commentary, or the making of The Amazing Spittoon. Now, I've never tried anything like this, and I've also had a bit to drink, <laughs> so bear with me. I'm, uh, I bet you can guess what this is. But I'm going to show you the making of, like, how we basically made it, and um, give you some insight as to how it was uh, done, basically. And I feel like it's actually going to be, sorry about the stupid look on my face on the screen there, but I feel like it actually gives a little bit of insight as to the work that we put into it. And it's only 13 minutes long, so don't worry about it. And also, I'm not used to not having my glasses yet. Um, I had to order some new ones from America's Best Lenses, and they were very nice. It was a good trip, but uh, I had my pupils dilated. Are they still freakishly large? Am I still all pupil? Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't hurt. But without further ado, let's begin. Now, this is an uncut version of the, uh, of the exact movie that we made, like the little, you know, four or five minutes that actually went on to YouTube. This is like the full version, the uncut, all the stuff that I had to cut out. Also, this is in color. Um, during production, I actually put the whole grainy old western style theme on top of it using Cyberlink, uh, as well as the music. So this is without the music and without the uh, old-timey theme. So. And every now and again, I'm going to pause, of course, to tell you a little bit about uh, what we actually had going on. So, let's get into it. All right. In five. I always do a countdown. Two, one. Come on, bring it home. I forgot yep. why. <laughs> Fucked it up first chance I got. Awesome. Fucked it up first chance oh, I got. Okay. okay, let me try again. Cutter. Yeah. It's because when I went to adjust the camera. Screwed it up first chance I got. Didn't take me a half a second. I wish the audio was a, a bit better, so I'll try to project as much as I can. All right. That's where I get the big line, where I really, like, basically scream it. Well, this bar looks like a piece of crap, but I guess it'll have to do. I like that one. All right, good. And it should, Five, I tried to produce four, it so that it should three, transition two, smoothly. One. Well, howdy, stranger. I ain't seen you around in these parts before. What brings you to our town of humble loathing? Chris kept messing up this one line, and he hated himself for it, but I think he did great. He didn't have any time to rehearse. I ain't seen you around in these parts before. What brings you to our town of humble loathing? <laughs> we just laughed about it. We just laughed it off. It was fine. We didn't care. I love the outtakes. Let's try it one more time. All right. There's a lady walking with her baby in a buggy. Ready in five, four, three. I wonder if that's in the actual movie. I call Howdy it a movie. Stranger. I ain't seen you around in these parts before. What brings you to our town of... <laughs> <laughs> Humble town of love. I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ready in five, four, three, two, one. Howdy, stranger. I ain't seen you around in these parts before. What brings you to our humble town of love? There we go. See, he had no time to rehearse. I think he did great. You know, he had no. T he had barely any time to prep. Let's see, the last line was, what brings you to our humble town of love? And I did have a script. It's right here. Three, Hang two, on. One. Well, I'm just fresh off my ma and pa's farm. It's uh, oh, four pages long. Technically like three. Because the last to page is like, mouth, what, five lines? I could hold it there. That's page nine. Right. Shit, the last That's page so is blank. My printer screwed me. Seriously? Okay, five. Yep. <laughs> How does it go from five to nine? Well, I'd never printed a script before, so... <laughs> well, I'm just fresh off my mom and boss farm in search of adventure and fortune. Well, that sounds like good reason, is it? Why don't you sit down for a spill? Spill. All right, I sure will. What you got to drink in this right hole? And, of course, I step in front of the camera like an idiot. What you got to drink in this rat hole steps completely in front of the camera. Idiot. We'll knock it never done it before. Oh, and, of course... I got frickin' right, we'll those in there in that bowl are Takis. And I got frickin' Taki thumbnail marks all over frickin' well, I'm just fresh off my fingerprints. It's supposed to, the line is supposed to be, hang on. 
Oh, wait, no. Five. Okay, we're still recording. Okay. Four. Uh, I've I, sh I should slow down on the drinks. I gotta remember to pause the video, not the recording. Uh, the line I messed up there is um, uh, I said adventure and fortune, and the line is adventure and fortune. Oh, okay. Well. I think I meant to write fortune and fame, you know, for fame and fortune, fortune and fame. Who says it? I guess adventure because it's an adventure type game. So, okay, so I remember I got to play this. I hope this works. I'll try to probably try to put my screen in one of the corners. Fortune and adventure. Well, that's a good enough reason, is any? Why don't you sit down for a spill? He said spill again. That's fine. You can do spill and then say, just say, what's the name, stranger? All right, all right, let's try. And I, I'm, I tried to be really easy to work with. I wasn't like, you got the line wrong. Meh, 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 meh. You know, I didn't care. It was just right, fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, I'm just fresh off my mom and pa's farm in search of adventure and fortune. Well, that sounds like good enough. I mean, reason, not bad for. Have, have a seat for a spell. <laughs> not bad for a oh, not bad for a five page script. <laughs> yeah, I got to add. Hell, I wrote the damn line. <laughs> Let's do it, brother. Let's do it one more time. Uh, Spell. In five, four. Always do that countdown. That helps me so much. Well, I'm just fresh off my mom and pa's farm in search of fortune and adventure. Fucking mustache kept falling off. Why don't you have a seat for a spell? What's your name, stranger? Well, some friends call me the name's Muffler Fumperdink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can use that though. I'll start with the name. Uh, the name's Muffler Fumperdink. All right. I'm amazed <laughs> that I was able to cut and the name's you know Muffler get Fumperdink, what we got. But some just call me Marker. Mark. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. What you got to drink in this rap hole? Well, we have a wide arrangement of. Food. I'll take all of it. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay, now we'll start the next scene. Sweet. Uh, now it is. Yeah. And of course, oh. the cars in the background kind of throw it off, you know. There's Chris's right. van. So we're in the Old West, but there's vans. Two. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm the roughest, toughest, rudeness, tootinest, fazbear, shootinest, cow puncher that ever walked this side of the Macy <laughs> There's my crazy eye. <laughs> I tried to give my crazy eye. Uh, and, and another thing. We lo oh, that's a good screen. That's a, that's a good shot. I like that. But um, that's another thing that we lost when we removed the well. When I removed the color, you can't tell that the mustache is pink, which is supposed to be Markiplier's famous pink mustache. And honestly, a kindergartner could have cut a better mustache than what I did. That is construction paper stuck to my face with duct tape. A kindergartner a kindergartner could have done a better job. I need to drink more. But um. Yeah, it, it's awful. I'm sorry. I tried so hard. I really did. I had little lines that I drew out and cut it out after I used a Sharpie. Oh, and we'll just, you know, that, that, that van right there, we'll just call that a wagon. It was the wagon train. Yeah, yeah. We totally had beans and coffee in the back of that, you know, like they did in the Old West. Totally. Don't worry about it. Oh, sweet Jesus. Did I skip the part? Hold on, 10... Toughest, toughest, no, I didn't. Tootinest, fazbear, shootinest, cow puncher that ever walked this side of the Macy Dixie line. There's that crazy eye. Oh, I've got to talk about this. Uh, I've got to talk about this. The next scene... Now, the reason you're seeing it out of order is because I actually forgot a scene in the original script. Um, in the actual video, like the movie, the little, you know, the full thing that's on YouTube, um, and was on Facebook first... In that, I switched the, I manually switched the scenes around so that they appear in the proper order. But we filmed them out of order because my idiot self forgot a scene. Now, the um, the chronologically the way it's supposed to go is what you got to drink in this rat hole. Bartender goes, oh well, we have a wide arrangement or a wide assortment of all of these various drinks, and I just go, I'll take all of it because. You know, Mumpler Fumperdink is going to drink all the drinks. He doesn't even care. Now, I had um, three of these, three or four. Uh, Chris had, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. I had three, Chris had two. I had three and a half. I had, we had some uh, loggers. <laughs> While he was gone, uh, going to get like equipment or something that he forgot, I tried peeling off the labels 
so that the labels wouldn't show in the video because I didn't know if that was improper product placement. And I just, I, I got like through one and ha and there's this just me asleep, just enjoy that, just like an idiot. But I got all the way through one and halfway through the second one <laughs> and it was so tough, I was just like, fuck it, and just turned them all around. <laughs> So, uh, so, and this uh, is me acting me, drunk. You know what he says to me? He says, he says he wants me. I to got this on the first mustache. take. I said to him, you know, I said to him, I said, so you want me? Aside from the mustache to work falling in this off. Restaurant of yours for five whole nights with these animatronics, which may or may not try to kill me in the middle of the night. And I says, you know what you can do with that whole idea? You can shove that whole idea. As long well as the chair <laughs> you're sitting on, you're sitting on, and shove the whole thing right up your butt. Whole chair up your butt. And, and that's what I says to him. That's what I says to him. And he says to me, you know what he says back? He says, I'll pay you $150 to do the job. And I says, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> so I do it. And I made it. All five nights. And boy, did those animatronics ever give me a fright. Do me. They didn't win one over on me. Nope, not on the line is boy did those the the line is the proper line is boy did those and boy did those animatronics ever do me a frighten. The reason I chose that line is because the day before I had watched a video on Facebook for Grant. Oh boy, what was it? Um, Lucid chart, where uh, Lucid chart where they said some animals will try to do you a frighten, like the nope rope with a snake and the slippery tube dude. And the, um, I can't remember the last one, but it was basically like snakes and spiders will try to do you a frighten. It was so good. Uh, I basically adopted that, that line as my own, do you a frighten. You know, I was scared. Uh, something did me a frighten just sounds so much funnier than I was scared. I, I love it. Okay, um, also, the duct tape didn't stick very well to my frickin' mustache. I thought about shaving it, but just having the beard hair and no mustache just felt silly, so I just kept drying it. <laughs> you know, oh no, I am the king of Five Nights at Freddy's. That's the name of the restaurant. Don't Another you? misstep. The name of the restaurant in Five Nights at Freddy's was not Five Nights at Freddy's. It was Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I fudged that up. It's even incorrect in the script. And I realized that only after I had uploaded the video to YouTube. So, it's just nice little things like that that I love knowing that I fudged up. <laughs> and I love noticing it afterwards. The, the name of the restaurant in Five Nights at Freddy's is not Five Nights at Freddy's. It's Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Legit. And I know uh, can, if Markiplier had oh, seen oh, it, yeah, he'd have noticed that immediately. And we could try it again if you'd like. Uh, it's still recording. Let's uh, just press the red one to stop, right? Yeah. Woo! God dang. <laughs> Say, Barbie, <laughs> what are those? Oh, those? Those are some homemade snacks. We're thinking about selling them in shop. We call them top. No. <laughs> <laughs> I should have changed the name. Okay, let me explain. The joke here is the fact that I saw a video once where Markiplier said that he absolutely loves Takis, but not necessarily the Takis themselves, just the, uh, just the uh, powder on them. And he was like, just give me bags and bags and bags of that powder. It, honestly, if I could have any sponsorship in the world, I would choose Takis. And he's like, sponsor me, Takis. I can't even remember what video it was. I, I can't even remember what video it was, but I never forgot that joke. That line stuck with me. I loved it. So that's why just random talkies are just here in this video for no apparent reason. Talkies. Oh, they sound like crap, but I'll give them a try. Oh, I love what I do the first time. Oh my god, it's so I had no I <laughs> I had no idea how to make it look like I was gorging on them. I wanted it to look like the character was just shoving his face and gorging on them and flying left and right, like a cartoon effect. Usually in cartoons what you'll actually see is a snack or a drink or anything that someone's like gorging down. It'll go, you know, flying up, uh, it'll, it'll go flying either from bottom left, bottom right, or straight from the bottom of the camera up. You know, like it'll explode out, like they'll just go nom 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 and it'll explode out. Uh, what I didn't know how to emulate that, so here's what I did. 
Just... <laughs> I just threw him at the camera. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to emulate it. So I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> uh, Say Barky. <laughs> and we only had one pack of talkies. Because they were the little ones you buy at the gas station. So we had to pick them up off the ground one by one and put them back into the bowl. And then I had to shove my face in them again. What are these? <laughs> oh, those? Those are some oh, homemade God. snacks. <laughs> Come on, no. Come on, Say, Barky, what are these? Lines. Oh, those? Those are some homemade snacks. We're thinking about selling them in shop. We call them tacos. <laughs> oh, they sound like crap, but I'll give them a try. Mm. Oh, my God, they're so good. <laughs> 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 I think that's about it all I can do. <laughs> I and, uh, where okay, you, where you okay. It doesn't out. show that part, but I spit that one out. <laughs> well, uh, we'll start again. I'll, I, uh, I'm sure I still got some sort of horrible disease from it. Oh, this, this is a good explanation of the Mondo uh, drinks there uh, for the little freaking thing. I, I, I'm not covering up the labels. Should I cover up the labels in post-production? Yeah, I'll cover up the labels. It's basically Kool-Aid. Um, uh, the reason I did that was because those were supposed to be the original drinks on the bar for what the barkeep gave me. I didn't plan on buying actual beer because I wanted to be able to film properly without being tipsy, or not tipsy, but buzzed. I wanted to be able to film without being buzzed and be able to, of course, drive home. But when Chris saw me with those... We'll just call them, um, uh, well, I can't say Kool-Aids. We'll call them uh, soft drinks, sugar water. When Chris saw me with that sugar water, he's like, ah, I don't know if I really want to drink sugar water. I'm not too, so down with that because they're drinks for kids and they're not very good for you because it's literally just sugar water. So he, he went out to uh, the store and got a pack of Yingling. <laughs> Yes, it's a spatula. You know what? This video will never be monetized, so they can't bar me for it anyway, so screw it. I'm not removing the labels. We'll spin it without even looking. That's absolutely disgusting. All right. All right. Oh. I'll, I'll pause it in a second. Let's give it a look and see if I couldn't even get all of my equipment and amp guard gear out of the way. Well, I guess I've rambled on long enough. I think it's about time I hit that old dusty trail. All right, <laughs> mister. Truck. Keep your butt clean. Truck drives I right fast. I the impression you're looking for is to keep my nose clean. Is that a spittoon? Well, yes, it is a spittoon. People spitting it all. I'm glad I get to show this. The awesome... Bleh. The authenticity I went through for this spittoon was actually the hardest project of the job, or one of the hardest. I love the freaking crunched up Takis around the spittoon, making it look like just total trash in the area. Another thing that we absolutely loved about the project was, um, okay, let me explain. Since I had to remove the color in the original finished version, you don't get to see what this spittoon actually look like. looks like. Isn't that absolutely disgusting? Like, I really went for authenticity there. It's terrible, isn't it? Let me explain. The spittoon is actually a flower pot I bought from Walmart. Looks pretty good for a spittoon. The ingredients inside is actually uh, baking flour, just flour, regular flour. I like dumped it in there. And then the gook you see is actually cooking oil. I just put a bunch of cooking oil in there and then dump flour in there and I was like that looks pretty gross and then like an idiot with no glove or anything I just dug my hand right in there and started shifting it around to try to you know dissipate the contents and make it look more like a like a spittoon and honestly I've never seen a real spittoon I have no idea what the, they look like but this is what I pictured when I watched Markiplier's West of Loathing, and it looks absolutely gross. Honestly, if I didn't know it was cooking oil, I would never have stuck my hand in that nasty mess. So, you don't get the full effect after I removed the color, but that is flour and cooking oil that I have stirred up with my hand. And thank God, Chris had little 
you know, great value bottles of water because afterwards my hand was absolutely covered in this mucus-like slime just dripping off of it. So we washed off my hand and continued with the take. And like an idiot, it was literally one of the first things I did. And as I stirred the contents, some of it spilled out and spilled over onto the pavement, which was a perfect emulation for people that missed the spittle, uh, that missed the uh, spittoon. You can even see little bits of what looked to be like hocked loogies. I'm sorry if this is gross, but I promise you that is bits of flour. Just regular flour that you would bake a cake with. It's great. I love it. All the time without thinking. It's absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> and then I kneel down next to it. So I'll be down. I didn't even get my equipment out of the way. Oh, God. Alrighty. Well, I guess I've rambled on long enough. I think it's about time I hit that old dusty trail. Alright, mister. You take care. Keep your butt clean. I think the expression you're looking for is keep your nose clean. Is that a splatoon? <laughs> well, yes, that is a splatoon. People spitting it all the time without thinking. It's absolutely disgusting. And of course, the, I'd like to check. It. And of course, the I think there's something shiny the, the sugar bottom. water was in the shot. Oh, hang on. Woo! Right. It smells like. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just I gotta point this out. In the shot, I didn't even think I must have been either drunk or uh, pretty buzzed, pretty far up there. I did not even remove the. Uh, the construction paper I cut the mustache with. It's right there. <laughs> you can even see the perfect little outline and the little sharpie marks I drew to try to cut a mustache. I, tr I had to try three times before I got one that looked halfway decent. Check it. I think there's something shining at the bottom. <laughs> oh, oh my man. god. Woo! It smells like a oh, it smells like a vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue. And that's flour on my pants, by the way. <laughs> oh God! And you can't see it, but I actually wrote. I cut out a white strip of construction paper, the same that the mustache come from came from, and wrote the word spittoon right on the front of the flower pot because in the, and I reviewed the actual episode in the episode where he encounters his first spittoon he says why can I read that so clearly oh and he just uploaded a video ever lost someone you oh I, I better I'm gonna watch that later on I'm not cutting that out I'm too drunk eBay no stop stop showing me stop stop it clear all Gee, okay sorry about that I had to pause the video real quick because I was getting notification after literal notification from my emails. And it's just a bunch of stupid ads. Okay, let's continue. Never give up! Oh! <laughs> it's worse than I thought. It's, Hang on. It was worse than I thought, <laughs> and the whole freaking mustache fell off my face. <laughs> uh, just imagine a stink so bad it just peels the mustache right off your face. I'll put my mustache off, on, and then pull the ring out. <laughs> it wasn't a real ring. It was a key ring that you have on your freaking keychain. Okay, okay. Get it together, Johnson. Get it together, Johnson. I don't know how the hell I managed to do that with one hand, with one side of the mustache I'll, I'll literally it, like I'll, ripped I've off. Got it. Oh God, it's gross. I've already got it, and I'll pull it out and. Uh, Let's see, you'll say, looks like you got some kind of ring and some kind and probably a disease too, and I'll go hurry. One eye showing perfect. Uh, well, I like that cowboy hat. I kept I'm it. Never gonna forget. Oh yeah, I'll it's probably not a it's not a real so cowboy hat. It's just some cheapo from Walmart, but it's so, nice. Uh, gets down on his hand, looks closer to the spittoon. Okay, so we missed that spot. I got you. All right. Yeah, I just sort of went straight for pulling it out. Right. <laughs> Giggity. All right. uh, let's see. Whenever you're ready, we'll start with. Um, let's see who starts first. I think it's you in this one. I'm uh, I'm still recording, so my you, knee you pads, my amp guard gear. We at Stanks Hold on. Or, yeah, yeah. There's the cap. <laughs> There's the cap to the frickin' um, oh, cooking oil. There's the cap to the cooking oil. It's so, it's so it. terrible. Ooh, it's that's so a terrible. Alright, go ahead. Uh, no. Oh, that's a stink I ain't never gonna forget. Oh, I think I found Oh, it's so much gross. I don't understand what's wrong with you. Oh, boy. 
It's so gross in color. It's so much grosser in color. <laughs> it's a ring of some sort. Looks like you got some. Look at that dripping delicious goodness. That authenticity. It was honestly the feel of it, to tell you the feel of it, it was like having my hand coated in syrup. <laughs> Fucking syrup. Oh, it was so terrible. Some kind of ring. And probably some kind of disease. Hey! Congratulations! Half off my face. All right. Uh, I might need to do that again. <laughs> terrible. I start off with. See, there's Spatoon written down. Isn't it? Yeah, we're recording, so just count it down. All right. Five, four, three. Okay, so the two, the equipment wasn't in the final shot. I think I got something. I don't understand what's wrong with you. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> That's a steak I ain't never gonna forget. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh. Uh, looks like you got some kind of ring. And probably some kind of disease as well. Hey! Congratulations. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> Chris mentioned about how, um, that's a terrible shot. Okay, that's better. <laughs> um, Chris mentioned about how when I went, hooray, I completely over, like, I overlapped his line. He's supposed to go, Congratulations, because that's the last line of Markiplier's video in the Spittoon. I think it goes, Congratulations, and then I was supposed to go hooray. So I completely just, like, I, I cut his line off. I That was bad of me. <laughs> the way it drips off my arm. Oh, oh, well, hold on. Oh, the, there is um, the Spittoon. That's actually what it looked like from a front view. That's, God, I, I know I can write better than that. Um... I believe this part of the video is a series of pictures that we took as experiments for maybe possibly thumbnails. I wasn't of course sure at the time what the thumbnail was going to be so we just took a bunch of you know um, uh, studio shots, selfies, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just gonna run through those real quick. There's me putting on the mustache. I think the next one's what got my boot on top of the spittoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, did like a little pose, and then Chris was like, put your boot on it. There it goes. Like, I'm going to step on the spittoon. And then he's like, you know, act like you're going to hork one up. You know, just there it goes. I was like, Whoop. like I was just about to spit right in the spittoon, which I don't know why in the name of God you would put your th fucking foot over it. That That's a nice belt. I still have that belt. I bought it specifically for this shot. And, of course, with the cowboy, hel with the cowboy hat, the belt, and anything else, I tried to you know buy it in with the idea that I was going to continue using it later like it wasn't just gonna go to waste and go to nothingness I think that's the end yep that's the end so that was the making of the amazing spittoon uh, with um, Russell as uh, Markiplier as Mumpler Fumperdink <laughs> Russ Robo as Markiplier as Mumpler Fumperdink and I put a lot of love and effort into the project. Unfortunately, it didn't make it into the final cut. Uh, he got done signing calendars like the, I think the day, two days after I uploaded this. And he went two days without uploading. So he either didn't see it or it wasn't very good. And that's fine. Um, I had a great time filming it. We had a great time filming it. And there's just nothing I love more than making little shorts like that. That was pretty much the most fun I've ever had for any pro the heck that was the most fun I've ever had for any project on YouTube period um, and you know I'm uh, you know I'm talking the truth now because I'm a bit up there <laughs> but uh, um, I would love to do more projects like that in the future um, as long as I can remain professional at least to some degree and keep giving an, uh, any audience um, the best that I can do, the best that I can be. Um, it was definitely the most fun I've ever had, you know, more fun than any real Let's Plays unless it was like, uh, unless it was a Let's Play with a friend like Der Sanson Man, which is Brandon or Skyler, you know, the Let's Plays I do with friends are equal to that, but when it's just me by myself, I'm just having, you know, a, a decent amount of fun, but setting up something like that with a script, uh, staging, props, lines, it was challenging in a way that brought a new sense of 
excitement to me and my heart. And I really hope that you enjoyed the uh, original video. I really hope that you enjoyed this director's commentary. And as always, until next time, take it easy, my friends.